Hey everybody, Craig Cottle, Director of Nature Alliance School. I have what I hope is going to be a treat for you. I'm going to develop a series of videos building what we're going to find in this box. So thanks for joining me. Well, many of you know that I'm a hunterationist. I spend a lot of time in the outdoors doing what I can to do habitat improvement for wildlife as well as I'm an avid hunter. And I've been doing that since I was a kid. One of the things that I did growing up that formed me, developed me into who it is and what it is that I am. And I spent a lot of time shooting muzzleloading and black powder rifles uh, a lot when I was a child. Everything ranging from shotguns to rifles to smooth bores and everything and everything in anything and everything in between. What I've wanted to do for years now is to build my own rifle, my own Kentucky long rifle. And so what I did is I came to an admission within myself that I am not a fine craftsman. I learned this a couple years ago, trying to build a rocking chair. I can do some stuff, but trying to build one on my own is going to be a Herculean task, but I still want to do it. So what I'm doing is I'm taking a step in between. I have bought a rifle kit from Kibler Rifles, and I'm going to build that kit. And what I want to do is I want to build it uh, on camera and then if the timing is right and I get this done appropriately then I'm gonna take this rifle out and I'm gonna bust me a turkey during turkey season so that's what's in the box let's unbox it and see what I've got hey so this is the way that the kit comes from the post office and a uh, fantastic box my postman said it kind of looked like a coffin from a from a Clint Eastwood movie and I kind of agree with him but with that said uh, Jim Kibler has put this in this box with Phillips head screws holding the top on, so I'm gonna take this apart. I have not looked in here yet, so I'm as excited, actually I'm probably a lot more excited than you are to see what's in the box. So follow along as I do that, and then we'll, we'll get this done and we'll talk some more. All right, so that's the last one. Yeah, let's see what we have. All right, so what we have here is Jim's Colonial Kit. Now, uh, what I did is I purchased a, and a little extra money put into so I could get a more fancy curly maple stock and we have a barrel here. The beautiful thing is we have all the pieces and parts here, the iron and brass fittings. We have some documentation, which I don't know what it comes in here. Let's see what Jim's put in here. Oh yeah, so we've got a very detailed set of instructions. But I'll go ahead and tell you right now, I've been watching Jim build this rifle or, you know, exact one just like it. Uh, in his shop. He's got a fantastic YouTube series. That's not what my intention is with this build. If you want to watch how to build one of Jim's kits, then you need to watch his videos. Don't watch me because I'm not the craftsman that he is. What I did want to do is just show that somebody that does not have a whole lot of skill doing this type of work can make a kit like this work and then you yourself will have a fantastic long rifle made mostly by Jim Kibler, but a lot by your own hands and there's a lot of satisfaction that can come out of that. So let me get this out of here. I've got it mostly, I'm being real careful. And again, I'm gonna be real patient and take my time with this, but here's what you have. Again, I'm not a detailed craftsman, so Jim does this work for you. And he's got quite a process and quite the machinery to make all this happen, such that you can also get something like this and finish it up. So what I want to do is pull out the barrel because I got a unique barrel that's not typical and I want to show you something about it so that you understand what I've got. So this is the barrel and what makes this unique, if you know what you're looking at, looking at the end of the barrel will tell you a whole lot. This is a smooth bore rifle, meaning it doesn't have rifling in it such that it makes it incredibly accurate at far distances. I haven't shot a deer over 
30, 40 yards in a long time anyway. So I don't really need something that's going to shoot out that far. What I did want was a firearm that I could utilize as a rifle and as a shotgun. And so, yeah, this can be utilized as a shotgun as well. And that's my first go is to bust a turkey with it this year. And then if I'm successful and everything's going well, I'm going to bust me a turkey or bust me a deer with it this fall. Now, let me tell you the other part that's not here because it's important. So again, just for emphasis, uh, Jim's got a fantastic series on YouTube that you can follow from his website and YouTube. I'll link for that in the YouTube videos here for all the pieces and parts. He takes you all the way through and I'm going to be watching these videos or those videos as I'm going through the build. And then I'm going to hopefully do everything I can to bust a turkey with this thing. Now the piece that's missing that we haven't seen yet is pretty important in that I haven't shown you the lock. This is the lock. It's going to be a flint lock. It's actually going to be the first flint lock that I have owned. Now I've shot a lot of flint locks, but they're owned by my dad. And this is going to be the first one that I've owned myself. So when you order your rifle, you can order percussion or you can order a flinter. And I went ahead and ordered the flintlock. He does a, as you can tell, Jim does fantastic work with everything that he does. The barrel, the wood, everything. So I've been incredibly pleased. They're very quick. Uh, the orders as they come in, uh, it's really important. It may be backlogged, it may be. I end up from date of order until I received what you see here. It was right at three weeks, which is phenomenal. Phenomenal for craftsmanship of this caliber. So no pun intended with that caliber. So I hope you join me as I go through this series of putting this rifle together. And hopefully we'll bust a turkey and a deer with it this spring and fall and complete what it is that is a Kentucky. It's not actually, it's a colonial rifle kit, probably more Pennsylvanian than it is Kentucky, but I'm gonna call it the Kentucky Long Rifle just because. I'll, I'll name her too, we'll, we'll come up with a good name. And it's not gonna be Jacob like Simon Kenton, but we'll come up with a good name. So thanks for joining me, hope you look forward to it. I'll add in as much as I can to help you because I want you to get out in the woods, whether you're walking, looking at tree buds, whether you're walking through the woods with your dog or your kids, or building your own kit and harvesting your own 100% organic food source. Come on, join in, let's learn together.